Thales has successfully completed factory acceptance tests FATs for both the mission system and the combat system on the Royal Navy's new Type 31's Inspiration-class frigates marking major milestones in one of the UK's most significant naval programs. The Type 31 program underscores Thales' long-standing commitment to support the Royal Navy with world-leading maritime technologies, while strengthening UK and European defence capability and industrial resilience. The UK is in advanced negotiations to build new warships for Denmark and Sweden. Having just won an order for five Type 26 frigates for Norway, this would be a remarkable turnaround in UK warship exports with great benefits to the Royal Navy and the wider British economy. The discussions center on Babcock's Type 31 frigate, based on the Arrowhead 140 design, which has already been selected by Indonesia and Poland. In both cases, local construction was favored, but the Danish and Swedish deals are expected to include substantial work at Babcock's Rosset shipyard in Scotland. Denmark seems likely to place an order for three Type 31 derivatives to be constructed in the UK, possibly with further ships of the class to be subsequently built in Denmark. The Royal Navy's Type 31 frigate is derived from the Arrowhead 140 design, the new Danish frigates, though based on the Arrowhead 140, are expected to be tailored primarily for air defense with different sensors and weapons compared with the general-purpose vessels under construction for the Royal Navy. They are likely to have greater resemblance to the Polish Miksnik class being built in Poland in partnership with Babcock, another ambitious adaptation of the design. Talks with Sweden are described as positive but more complex. Stockholm is considering buying frigates to complement its Corvette program and has a choice between Type 31 or the French FDI frigate, supported by a recently signed Franco-Swedish Defense Cooperation Agreement. The Swedish requirement is for up to four frigates, with a decision expected by the end of the year. Babcock is already working with Saab on the development of Sweden's new Lulia-class Corvette. A joint venture signed in 2024 sees Saab provide the baseline design while Babcock contributes engineering and systems integration expertise. It is possible that the Lulia class could be constructed in Rosyth and subsequently fitted out in Sweden. Further building on this partnership an Arrowhead 140 Type 31 based frigate for Sweden could be a logical choice. This competition is potentially more challenging. Unlike Norway's recent anti-submarine warfare frigate selection, where the high-end Type 26 was chosen over the lower-end French FDI frigate, the Swedish requirement is seen as more closely matched to what the FDI can offer. Winning the contract will depend as much on industrial and political alignment as on ship design. These developments come as the UK seeks to deepen defense ties with Scandinavian partners to counter Russia's submarine and missile threats in the high north. Babcock has already begun delivering five Type 31 frigates for the Royal Navy, with the first of class HMS Venturer due to enter service later this decade. With deals in Indonesia and Poland already secured, likely construction for Denmark and Sweden a possibility, this would cement the Type 31's place as one of the most successful European warship exports of the decade. The Royal Navy's decision in 2015 to build a simpler, cheaper frigate with a fixed price of £250 million that led to Type 31 has proved wise. Although the initial delivery timeframe was wildly optimistic and the cost envelope has been somewhat exceeded, the Royal Navy is getting affordable and adaptable ships in a relatively quick time. Babcock's decision to go for a large adaptable platform as the basis for their bid has also paid off. Although financially they will barely break even on the Royal Navy program, in the long run the investment will pay off handsomely if a continuous drumbeat of production can be maintained at Rosif. The Type 32 or Type 31 Batch 2 frigate program promised by Boris Johnson's government seems to be an unfulfilled promise, given constrained budgets. This means subsequent work at Rosyth on export projects will not involve quite the same trade-offs in delivery for the Royal Navy that the Type 26 frigates for Norway imply. However, the Royal Navy will benefit by being part of a large community of Arrowhead 140 operators with all economies of scale and opportunities for shared support, expertise and interoperability that comes with international collaboration. 
working as part of an integrated international team, and in close partnership with Babcock and the Royal Navy, Thales has now completed all core factory-based activity for the program further reinforcing its role as a trusted partner in the delivery of complex naval systems for the UK. Thales's combat management system, Tacticos, functions as the operational heart of UK's Type 31 frigates. It will be the central command and decision-making part of these frigates' combat systems. Its function and performance supporting sensor control, picture compilation, situation assessment, action support and weapon control are critical to the operational effectiveness of the naval vessel. The mission system FATs were completed at the end of April 2025. Delivered to a high standard by Thales' international team, in close collaboration with industry partners, this achievement showcases the quality, openness and technical expertise that have defined Thales' approach to the Type 31 delivery earning praise from the Royal Navy. The combat system FATs followed at the end of June 2025. Built around Thales' latest version of its Tacticos combat management system delivered by Thales in the Netherlands it includes the latest software release that enables Type 31's operational capabilities, reinforcing Tacticos' position as a leading CMS for next-generation naval platforms. With all factory acceptance tests now complete, the program will move on to land-based testing at the Shore Integration Facility, before being installed on board the HMS Venturer, first of the five Type 31 Inspiration Class frigates, the construction of which is underway at Babcock's Rosith facility. Paul Watson, Arrowhead Managing Director at Babcock said, the successful completion of the mission and combat systems FATs marks another significant step forward for the Type 31 program and reflects the strength of our collaboration with Thales and our wider industry partners. Together, we are delivering a world-class capability for the Royal Navy and creating a strong foundation for the future of the Inspiration Class frigates. Working closely with our Royal Navy and Babcock colleagues, we are delighted to have successfully completed this critical stage in the development of the Royal Navy's new Type 31 frigates. It represents another demonstration of Thales's proven ability to deliver integrated naval mission systems to the highest standards. The Type 31 program underscores Thales's long-standing commitment to support the Royal Navy with world-leading maritime technologies, while strengthening UK and European defence capability and industrial resilience.